Hi guys, what's happening? Five things that you need to start YouTube in 2020. Let's dive right in. First off, and this may seem pretty obvious, a camera. The reason why I'm saying camera is number one is because a lot of people actually use their phones, which is totally fine. But personally, I feel as if, if you're filming on your phone, there's gonna be far too many distractions to take you away from concentrating on what you're doing. And if you've got an actual camera in your hands that you know when you pick up that camera, you're either taking pictures with it or you're filming with it, then you know that you can put your phone in your pocket and totally be 100% invested in what you are filming for your YouTube channel. So yeah, number one, a camera. Number two is sound. The reason why this is so important is pretty much it's the first thing someone hears. When they're watching your channel, they'll hear it straight away and they're gonna judge. Whether they know it or not, they're gonna judge straight away how good the quality is on your YouTube. The mic I'm currently using is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Uh, I've had this for a couple of years now. It seems to be a pretty good mic. The majority of YouTubers use the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. This has a couple of wee extra bits and bobs on the microphone to just get you better quality. I think if you're starting out, then you don't really need something that's gonna cost you 130 to 200 pounds. You can pick up a wee lapel mic that will plug straight into the side of your camera and that will only set you back like 15 to 20 quid for an okay one. Number three is a computer and you need to make sure that the computer you've got can process videos because when I first started out, I had a little, it was like a Dell or something like that and I was like, oh great, I can edit videos on this. Downloaded the programs, didn't work, couldn't process the videos, the, the processor in the computer couldn't process it, so that's when I upgraded to a MacBook Pro and I've never looked back. Those laptops are machines and they will process anything that you put through them. It doesn't even struggle with 4K footage really, uh, you can have a little bit of jitter on it but you definitely can get there with it uh, and the majority of cameras nowadays do shoot 4K and they are huge files. Number four is lighting. That, this isn't essential, you can use uh, natural light. I'm using natural natural light than now. I'm sitting in front of my living room window. I would definitely recommend investing in actual lights. Late at night, and you're, if you've got that kind of excitement to film a video, you don't need to wait until it's light again to actually get it filmed. You can just set up your lights, get your settings right, and then just start filming straight away. I think this is very important because at the end of the day, if you can't film when you're feeling like filming, then you're not gonna film, so. If the majority of the time you're filming outside, obviously lighting isn't really important if you're just filming during the day in most of your videos, then no, you probably will only need lights, but I think they are very important, they're always handy to have, definitely, just you can get them so cheap nowadays as well, invest in some good lights. Number five, our final thing that you need to start YouTube in 2020 is space, a space where you can go and in your house or in your bedroom and you know that when you go to that, that is where you're gonna edit, that's where you're gonna film. When you sit down there, you're not gonna have any distractions, you're gonna zone into what you're doing. That's it for me today. Five things to start your YouTube channel in 2020. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below. Say hey down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.